A gesture of support for the prosecutor taking on a former president. Fani is going to follow the truth and the law. And I think that Donald Trump has said a lot of lies. Fani Willis is leading the case against Donald Trump and 18 of his allies. They've all been charged under Georgia's racketeering laws, originally designed to help take down organised criminal syndicates like the Mafia. Probably the most remarkable thing about the indictment was just how sprawling it was, just how many people it took in and the degree and range of charges that they're bringing against them. The indictment alleges the defendants refused to accept the former president's 2020 election loss and conspired to unlawfully change the outcome. But Mr Trump claims his unfounded accusations of election fraud will be proven in a report being released next week. They're trying to step in my way at every path because the one person they don't want to run is Donald Trump. But when we get there, the Biden crime family will pay a price like other people are being forced to pay. Among the co-accused, Mr Trump's White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, who's filed a motion to have his charges moved to federal court. Donald Trump is once again trying to use this indictment to bolster his campaign, and he's still the front-runner for the Republican presidential nomination. But these legal battles are expensive, and he's now got four of them to fight. It's going to take a toll, already has, on how much money he can devote towards campaign-related activities versus legal related activities. His first court appearance in Georgia is expected by the end of next week, ahead of another potentially lengthy trial. Jade McMillan, ABC News, Washington.